Hello guys, this is a short video. I thought you'd like to join me while I mess around with this beaten stepchild of a motherboard. This is the board that had the broken traces on the back. Has several bent pins on it. But I have a video card in, in here. I have that oddball Intel SX to 50 megahertz processor there. Have a little memory installed. Have it plugged into the bench power supply. Uh, let's see what happens. Have my postcard in one of the PCI slots and it's cable here plugged into the speaker header. We'll see what it does when I flip the power. It actually posted video. Detecting floppy drive A media. Processor's not getting too hot. Is he just going to sit there? How curious. Alright, I've got one of these floppy emulators since it's looking for a boot floppy. And I have boot images on that USB stick. Give it the MS DOS 6.22 boot disk. Something strange going on there. Wonder if the floppy cable is backwards. It is on the motherboard. It's backwards. All right then. All right, now that it's the right way around, let's try this again. Let's see what it does. Nothing. How curious.
Hmm. Well, let me look into this a little bit. Well, this is several hours later and lots of research. Let's take a look one more time. I have a floppy drive hooked up with a boot disk in it since it's looking for a boot media apparently. But it seems to just tank. Oh. That's quite a sound. Well, according to what I've looked up, the BIOS, the chip itself, or the image that's written in the BIOS is corrupted. This being an EEPROM, I don't think it is software flashable at all. The chip will have to be erased, which I don't have the means to do that, and then rewritten. I think this old abuse board is lost cause until I get some parts in anyway. Well, thank you for joining me on this misadventure, and have a good day.